everyone it has been a hot minute since i have sat down in a squeaky chair and spoken about beauty bits honestly what's wild to me so evidently as you see from the title i'm gonna go shut that window it's warm it's fe it's not february it's september can you tell i'm out of practice as i was saying by the title of the video this is indeed a favorites video and i thought oh you know like do I have that many favourites? Don't really know what I quite have to talk about. Then I looked and the last one I did was February. Remember when I did a video every day? Remember that? Me too. Anyway, let me get comfortable in the rickety old chair and let's talk about my favourite things from the past like six months. Oh my god, this year is absolutely fine by it's absolutely crazy. Anyway, so I've actually got two lipstick options and let's talk about, let's talk about the one on my lips right now. This is by Hourglass. This was their collaboration with Unilever for making uh, Red Zero, which is a vegan red pigment. So as you can imagine, that very much piqued my interest. Um, I believe I've spoken about this in a vlog a few months ago. Anyway, I had to mention it in my next favourites video, which tend to be several more months. And it's one of their confession lipsticks. So I have definitely one, if not two of them, which is just like their standard sort of like satin finish so the packaging is also reusable so the outside bit so this one is like this funky red one and they've actually got beetle on it to i don't know if you can see that there and um, that's to signify because carmine is usually the pigment that's used in um products to make it red it's that like rich red color and it's crushed beetles so that's why they've got a little beetle on this one um and this one has just been living in my bag ever since i got it i got it sort of springtime really and listen it's not like a liquid lipstick which i do go for a liquid lip in red quite regularly if i'm gonna do a red just because i don't have to worry about it but honestly with this one what i like about it because it's got that thinner um, applicator the bullets thinner in itself you don't need a lip liner you can have one obviously if you want to today i've not lip lined just to show you to give you the full experience of red zero but i have used a lip liner with it before it's comfortable and because it's like not huge also looks like a weapon it's easy to touch up like i think you know listen if you're going out for food and you're eating you know it your your lipstick is just going to come off like that's the reality of the situation but it's not a pain to touch up i think there's some lipsticks particularly if we're going liquid lipsticks actually where it can really like build up and get just like uncomfortable and gross whereas this is actually not that at all so again like i have no problem wearing this again a few touch-ups it's great um and also again so i i know that some people are a bit like unilever really like they're not cruelty free as a brand uh so hourglass wanted to be the first luxury makeup brand which are fully cruelty free and vegan um which they now are but do you know what i just think with like unilever like obviously the resources and like the the testing and all that stuff hopefully not on animals law um but like yeah the resources that they would have to be able to make a vegan red pigment is probably unparalleled or you know it's going to be a big company that has those resources to make it happen so anyway that is why i chose to buy it and i still love it so um again like if i've been wearing a red over the summer it's probably been this one keeping on the lip train um this one is just a quick little pit stop because i know i've spoken about this lipstick before this is one of the generation g lipsticks by glossier i have the color leo which is their neutral sort of brown color this one here in particular is their updated formula but they because they changed it i say within the last year anyway the reason i wanted to mention this lipstick is because these lipsticks are sheer matte ones and again like as you can see this is like a fairly neutral color everyday color it's something that i like to wear the reason i wanted to mention it now i know the world is kind of slowly but surely forgetting about masks but if you're someone like me i have to wear masks at work every day and also common courtesy um for other members of staff in places where i go into I'm a, I, I still wear masks as much as I can. This lipstick, I would probably say, is my favourite under mask lipstick in the sense that just due to the texture that it has, like it doesn't like really transfer or anything, again, because it's that matte texture, um, but because it's also, you know, got that sheerness to it, it's just, I think it works. If you're somebody that's, you know, like nipping into a shop, likes wearing lipstick, I have missed lipstick these past 18 months. I love lipstick. This is the one that I would recommend. Like they have cake as well, which I know is like a really big fan favorite um in the generation g lineup but leo for me is the one for me because i like those a little bit more 90s brown 
um, sort of undertones. Yeah, if you want a lipstick to wear when you're like taking a mask off and on, this is the one that I would recommend. They have a whole section of colours. Leo is my favourite, but just thought I'd throw that in there, you know? So moving on to the rest of makeup, I actually have two brow products to talk about. So let's talk about them in order of application. I, I feel like I've mentioned this. I feel like I definitely hauled this in a video. Um, this is the Revolution Beauty Soap Brow. And what I love is, I think I get like ads on Instagram for this product. And they're like, our number one brow product. And they show it to you when it's like pristine and new. Absolutely disgusting. Like, I really don't want to get in too close. Like this is foul. I don't use this brush. I've got a bunch of spoolies that I just use. You might be like, Alice, like why don't you just buy a bar of soap? Which is like all well and good for the soap brow thing. Like I really like using this as the first step in my brow routine to sort of like get them in place looking all like fluffy and luscious. However, this comes in a compact. This you can put in your makeup bag and it's not weird. If you have like a dressing table and you just do your makeup on your dressing table every day, then yeah, probably a bar of soap would work, whatever. But Revolution, first of all, is really reasonably priced. Second of all, it's like easy to travel with. Like it's not a pain in the ass to have like a decrepit bar of soap that you carry around with your makeup and it just works. It just does what the soap brow situation is. As I said, I like to use this as like a, a tamer, uh, not a setter, I do, I use three brow products, but this is like almost like, a, I don't want to say like a primer, but I use it as like a priming step to sort of like beef them up a little bit, um, get them into shape and get them looking how I want to. And then this is where the colour product comes in. Now you didn't think I was going to do a favourites video without a beauty pie product, did you? So this here is one of their fairly new products. Uh, this is a super brow colour mousse and I have the colour ash brown. So this is, yeah, it's very like almost like grey toned neutral brown. Because it's a mousse, I think these two go hand in hand with one another. I think if you had like a pencil or a powder, putting this on first and then layering that on top, I think you run into issues. Whereas because this is also a liquid product, like it goes on absolutely fine. I have like naturally quite dark brows. I do still dye them every now and again. Um, and I just need it sort of like helping with shaping and just sort of like evening out my brows. Like I don't, I'm like lucky that I didn't pluck all my eyebrows off all that much uh, when I was younger. So I have like quite a lot of my own brow hair. So I don't know what this would be like if you have a lot less brow hairs than I do but for sort of like general touching up and sort of shaping this is really really great I do actually also use the um tinted brow gel from Beauty Pie on top of that as well those are the three products that I'm using I wouldn't say it's my favorite brow gel in the world but it's certainly not bad at all and again reasonably priced because it is Beauty Pie but this is the product because also what I find so funny about brow products is they're really like ends of the spectrum for how long the product lasts Either brow products I find last you like, it feels like a matter of weeks. Like it feels like you run through them super, super quickly and having to repurchase again and again. Or indeed like these two will last you a millennia. Like I, yeah, again, I think I got this in February. I think I must have vlogged when I was vlogging in February that I got this. And like, don't get me wrong, like I've made a serious dent in it. It definitely looks well loved. Whereas, and the same with this, like I, Again, like I've had this quite a long time now. And like, yeah, you can start to see like the bottom of the pan here. Like you can see that, again, I am really making a dent in it, but these two are gonna be lasting ages. And like, I don't really like to switch up brow products all that much. So really happy with those at the moment. And then I've got one, it's a nail favorite next one. And I don't think it's cruelty free, um, but I've had this nail polish for years. I remember like, back when I was like 19. <laughs> like I really had this nail polish a long time. When, was it like Cheap Smells? I forget what the other one was called. All those like basic, basically like TK Maxx makeup, but online. Where it's like makeup that's been like discontinued or like whatever, so it was like cheaper. That's where I would buy OPI nail polishes, which were like one of those brands like, ooh, you can get in the airport or if you go to the States. So anyway, this one, I also don't think this colour exists. I think this might have been a limited edition colour. This is Red Lights Ahead Wear. And it's this like really punchy red colour. And it's like almost, yeah, it's just got a little bit of... It's not like that pure classic red, it's like your summertime red. It's got like a little bit more punch, it's a little bit more bright, and I've been absolutely loving this. I work in a job where I can't paint my nails, so every time I've had holiday um, over the summer, when I've had like time off, I've been painting them with this colour and absolutely loving it. I think 
honestly like it's probably one of my favorite nail polishes because I don't really get to paint my nails that often I just had to mention it because again I, I don't know if it's available anymore but like this kind of red I just think oh it's so nice and it's the only thing I've been painting on my nails the past few months so I had to mention it because I really let's get into it shall we I don't know if you've noticed I've got um dots I've got tattoos on my fingers now don't know if you've noticed that and I have to be really honest with you I am actually I want to say insecure about my hands but I don't love 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 my hands I think they look like child's hands because they're really small um again because of my work and like me like doing lots of like printing and stuff like that my nails don't grow like super duper long like naturally I have like beautiful luscious nails but just due to my job and my hobby is they just like snap off at the moment they're all actually quite short yeah so that's why I wear quite a lot of rings because I'm not like crazy on my hands and then I've then got these tattoos and then also when I paint my nails red I was like my hands are great <laughs> so um again it's one of those things that I was like the whole package I was like oh yeah with that bright nail varnish like really nice rings both these are July child if you're wondering and this one here is as above if you're curious anyway yeah it just really made a difference to how I felt about my hands so I had 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 to mention it um but yeah moving on I've got one hair favorite so that actually actually we're gonna do a curveball but seeing as I've mentioned my jewelry this is another favorite this was my birthday present from me to me uh, it's by a ceramicist called Lucy McCall who I followed on Instagram for a good few years at this point and she does like a lot of like cupai stuff so either she does um jewelry like this where it's like the heads like the necklaces or she does like little figurines um oh and also wall hangings as well i oh my god i would absolutely die to have one of her like little devil um red devil wall hangings i think they look so cool anyway um for my birthday for my present from me to me i bought this little necklace so this is one of the uh, leopard heads in red and I must admit I think I need to go to like Hobbycraft or something to get like an extra loop because it wants to sit like this and because the back is round it's always kind of like facing in whereas I want her little face to see the world from my neck anyway I love her work her work's fantastic if you're into it's a little bit I don't want to say ooky spooky although I, I believe she's going to be bringing out some Halloween stuff which looks legit but yeah it's just really nice to support um somebody doing it cool shit basically um it, you know it wasn't the cheapest thing in the world um but it's like handmade like there's hardly any of them anyway i love it i absolutely love it worth every penny um so yeah i wanted to make sure i didn't forget about that wanted to wear it to show you but anyway um as i said hair i'm all over the place can i really i really i don't want to say i'm out of practice because i haven't vlogging by the way if you watch my scotland vlog the next one's coming after this video and then i need to film my empties I tell you what, I'm putting that off. That's been part, I've been putting off that empties video. I've got so many. It's going to be an absolute saga. Anyway, subscribe if you want to watch that. Um, back to hair. Again, this is, I must admit, yikes. I'm like 99.999% sure that this is cruelty free. But now that I've sat down, I'm now not so sure. Anyway, so this is by Kristen S. And this is their dry finish working texture spray. You can get this in larger boot stores. It's like a little bit more expensive. Like, you know, you can get those like salon brands, but they're still at boots. And again, when you're on boots, you can usually get them in an offer. I believe that's what when I picked this up. And also, you know that I was mentioning, was it Salon Graphics? That brand loved it, got this in the same boots. I, I don't, I think they've only gone online now, which is really frustrating because I really like that brand. So that's why I picked this up. But yeah, it's just a really nice dry texturizing spray. Whether I'm wearing my hair, it's sort of wavy, curly, or whether it's straight, Straight. it just adds a little bit of like zhuzh to it um i've got my hair up today because it's in dire need of a wash but um but yeah it is really seamless in the hair it gives it a little bit nice grit and is a really nice price point so i had to mention this one i'm interested to see what else the brand has to offer but this is the first product that i've tried and i've liked it so i do also have one skincare product again similar to the generation g lipstick i know i've mentioned this before so many times however i'm also really worried that i've also made this point before i don't know if i have anyway i feel like i need to talk about it again it's the aha bha peeling solution by the ordinary you have seen this product on the internet a bajillion times, but let me give you my two cents. So I, my skin works really well with chemical exfoliants, which which is what this is. And I would usually like flip between a few of them. So it's like the Fruity Zyme by Beauty Pie, and then I've tried like the Revolution Beauty version of this. 
I've just come to the conclusion that this is honestly the best one. It's hardcore. If you have sensitive skin, I don't I don't know if this is the product for you. My skin's pretty hardy and um, it's an exfoliating facial and my skin loves it. Whenever I come back to this, after I've like tried another one, I'm like, oh no, wait, th this, this is the real deal. So um, really inexpensive, less than a tenner. I wanna say it's around seven pounds. Um, lasts a good amount of time. I like to do this weekly. Um, like particularly like around like my nose and stuff like I just I see such a difference when I use it and I just think out of all the masks that are like this this is the best one so I had to mention it again because I say I've got a new bottle you can see how long I've been since I've done a favorites video when I got this new bottle I'm like I have to mention this again because it really is the MVP Faith certain I mentioned it in my last empties video but that's the one it is the one I've made up my mind we're, we're committed we're in a committed relationship now I love it last for kind of like beauty bits I have a fragrance to talk about so this is by the essence vault now I'm sure you have been served a bajillion ads from this brand on Instagram. What they do is they rip off, <laughs> they mimic um, expensive fragrances at a fraction of the price. I actually wanna make a video on them. I have like filmed a little bit of it, but I've not obviously finished this video. Um, so spoiler alert, I think this is great. Um, what I did is I bought three fragrances from them. One that I'd had the fragrance of before, one that I was aware of the fragrance, and one that I'd never smelled before, which is this one here, and it's arguably my favorite. This is 444, and also this is the one that they always like push. This one always on their adverts, they've always got somebody being like, this is great, you should try this. And guys, this is great, you should try this. <laughs> Honestly, um, so this is supposed to be like Lost Cherry by Tom Ford, which I have never smelt. It's in one of those like teeny tiny, super duper expensive bottles. Like that is way out of my price range. Um, but it sounded nice like to smell. I was like, okay, I like cherries. And this is, as you can see, like I have absolutely made a dent in this. Um, this is a hundred milliliter bottle. They have discount codes all the fucking time. I want to say I got 30% off and I'm fairly certain that clothes still floating about. I really would give them a try. If you are somebody who has a fragrance that you love, but it's like, you know, YSL, Tom Ford, because also they're vegan and cruelty free, which YSL and Tom Ford are not. So that's also another reason why I wanted to try this brand out. Um, this one smells amazing. And the amount of people, like the sheer amount of people that have commented on how I smell when I wear this, like, it's lots, it's lots and lots. And it's like a wide range of people as well all have commented like if I'm wearing this fragrance they're like, oh my god, do you smell nice? And I'm like, thanks guys. You know I love to try out these Instagram brands, see what the situation is. And I've tried this one out and I've got to say, I'm impressed. I've got to say I'm impressed. Spoiler alert on that video, but I've got to say, would recommend. And I would also recommend that scent as well in particular. Anyway, um, I've got one household favourite. And I think this really shows you that I've turned 28. I'm recommending a surface spray. <laughs> yes, I am. So this is by Ecova. So a little bit more eco-friendly, all that good stuff. And this is their lemongrass and orange multi-surface like spray. Basically, I think it's cheaper than Method and smells really nice. Like, I, I don't really know. It, it does what it says on the tin. Like, it's not just like it smells nice and then it doesn't like clean anything up. It works well and smells nice and it's better for the planet. So like I know that you can still buy it in plastic bottles, that's the thing with Ecova. I'm very certain that in certain locations they do do refill stuff, but I think you can get this at like co-op as well. So inexpensive as things go, like it's a little bit more expensive than say Tesco's own, but it's not as expensive as Method. And it's really nice. It's honestly, the smell is really, really nice. Lemongrass and orange. I think it smells beautiful. So I um, definitely had to recommend that one. And I've got two more things to recommend. So one of them is an album that I just feel like I have not stopped listening to, and that is Like Clockwork by Queens of the Stone Age. <laughs> when I went on my Scottish road trip, that was like one of the albums I downloaded, and I've been back now for a month and I'm still listening to it. Like I'm not like restricted to not having any cell service. So I yeah, I think it's a fantastic album. I think, I know there's like some stuff in the press about Josh Holm at the moment but I also love the distillers. I'm, I'm conflicted in that. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> um, but all that, all that to say, I really think like Clockwork 
is just a fantastic complete album. If you look at my like on repeat out of like the 10 songs on the album, I think I've got like seven in it. Like I literally listen to it from beginning to end or can pick up like songs in between. I think my favorite album track is I Appear Missing. Also like some of the singles like My God Is The Sun, If I Had A Tail, Smooth Sailing's really good. Just the whole album's good. It's 10 songs and it's like a really nice complete album, but also it doesn't feel like it's a concept album. So if you're like, I just wanna listen to this one song, it's not weird. So if you're wanting some throwback music to listen to, I think what's so funny to me is in my head, I'm like, oh, that's like the new Queens of the Stone Age album. They've actually brought one out since, but it was released in 2013. It's always 10 years ago, man. That's wild, that's wild to me. Last, but certainly not least, arguably my favorite favorite has been Secret Project number two, the love of, and bane of my existence, is what I've been working on, where I've been, basically. I know I've put it in a few vlogs that I've got a design residency, which also, good news, it got extended. So I'm gonna be there till next June, baby. So uh, really need to get a better balance on making videos because I, honestly truly have really missed it and also doing that but anyway so bye bye here's some of the things that I made they're for sale <laughs> I feel like it's such a knob. Yeah, anyway, if you've been following me on Instagram, you're probably sick to the back teeth of me talking about Secret Project number two. But lo and behold, here I am on YouTube talking about it as well. Um, basically, I've released a series of prints and bags that I have made. I made this lino cut, and then I made it into a silk screen, and then I put it on a bag. Um, there are tenner each. I'm really a terrible saleswoman. Go to my Instagram if you want to know more about it. Um, and Again, if there's anybody who's watching that's bought anything, thank you ever so much. It's been an absolute world, um, and I'm really excited for it. I've got a bunch of other stuff swimming around up here that I wanna do, so. But yeah, they're huge too. I like, it's not even that I'm just like, I've thrown some shit together. I've worked really hard on it, and it's been really fun to see that all come together. Anyway, that is everything from me today. I hope you're having an absolutely fabulous day, evening, whatever time you're watching this. And... Uh. And I look forward to seeing you super duper soon. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye!